How's it going guys, it's Tactics HD here bringing the top 50 rated players on NHL 14. In this video guys, I'm bringing the players rated 20 to 11. And starting off that list guys, we have John Tavares, an 89 overall center. Uh, John Tavares I think should actually be rated a little higher than this. He's just such a good player. I'd probably have him in the top 10 players in the NHL. Last year in NHL 13, I think he was ranked 86. And I thought that was way too low for Tavares. So 89 is definitely a good improvement, but I think he could even be a 90. Next guys, we have Joe Thornton, 90 overall center. Uh, Joe Thornton, I think that's a pretty decent rating for. He might even be an 89. You know, he's not as good as he was, you know, a few years ago when he won, like, the Art Ross and, su and such, but he's still a really good player. Uh, at number 18, guys, you have Marion Gabrick, 80, uh, 90 overall right-wing sniper. I think this is a bit of an overvalue for Gabrick. Last year, he was an 89, and he really didn't prove anything to me that would, you know, grant him being one overall higher. If anything, he should be one overall lower, so... He's a 90, but I think he's probably better at an 89, 88. Uh, next, guys, at number 17, we have Rick Nash. Uh, Rick Nash, 90 overall left wing power forward. I think it's a pretty good rating for him. You know, he did really well this year in New York. At number 16, guys, we have Kerry Price, 90 overall goaltender. Uh, he had a really good first half of the year this year. Not so great second half, but I think he will be that 90 overall goalie this year. At number 15, guys, we have Alex Petrangelo, 90 overall two-way defenseman. So, I mean, Petrangelo has been in the NHL for only two or three years now, already 90 overall. That just shows you how good he's playing. Uh, this is a pretty good rating for him. I don't know, maybe a little over the top. Maybe he should be around an 89, I think, but still uh, pretty good in the ballpark. At number uh, 14 here, guys, we have Henrik Zetterberg, 90 overall playmaking left wing. So it's a bit of an upgrade for Zetterberg. I believe he was an 89 or an 88 last year. So uh, he played really well this year, though, really stepped up as the captain of the Red Wings. I think that's a pretty good rating for him. Next, guys, at number 13, we have Claude Giroux, 90 overall playmaking right winger. Uh, I don't know why they have him at right wing. I feel like he played center uh, last year. I thought he was centering the first line. I may be 100% long, but uh, anyways, they have him at the right wing position. So, uh, I don't know. Face off 85. I feel like he was center last year. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, in regards to the rating, 90 overall. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he didn't do that great last year, but the year before that, he just crushed it. So it's hard to say. Drew's probably around a 90, though. Uh, next, guys, at number 12, we have Duncan Keith. 90 overall. Uh, this is a pretty good rating. I would honestly have him lower, but just due to the defensemen that were ranked 88 in, like, the couple videos before, I think Keith has to be a 90. And lastly, guys, at number 11, we have Henrik Lundqvist. 90 overall goal, 91 overall goaltender. Uh, he's personally i think he's the best goalie in the league i have a feeling though he's going to be the second best in this game we have yet to see jonathan quick i have a feeling jonathan quick's probably going to be the best goalie at a 92 overall so long so being second best i'm assuming at 91 overall i think it's a good rating anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video with all the ratings uh tomorrow we'll have the top 10 nhl player ratings so obviously that's going to include crosby ovechkin malkin quick datsuk etc etc so stay tuned for that guys and besides that stay tuned for some more nhl 14 videos and have a nice day guys goodbye